Welcome to Straw Panel Farm. I'm Chris. And I'm RJ. Oh no, I'm me. Welcome to the chapel. Or in the chapel. Welcome to Straw Panel Farm, I should say. I said welcome to Straw Panel Farm already. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know your lines very well. All right. Proverbs 15 16. <laughs> um, Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. So. Okay, it's better over. See you later, guys. <laughs> Better to have just a little money and a good respect to the Lord than to be wealthy. Correct. Pretty much. Yeah. We have the fear of the Lord and we have nothing. So we're good, right? <laughs> we're always broke. Whatever. We're farmers. Okay. In the barn stalls. Now we're just going to touch on one thing. Um, and we are going to send you over to the blog for Burr. Um. I don't think that anybody listening to this um, is a child, but there could be children in the room. There's a couple of like Sammy and, and them and Katie that might actually listen all the way through. Uh, Burl had an accident. He is not here on the farm and he cannot breathe anymore. So um, I'll leave a link to RJ's post below so that you can go and check out what happened with that. It's not a topic for children. So, well, if it is, it's, if you're country, it kind of is, but if you're not, then anyway, your choice. Okay. So we'll put a link to that. Um, the important thing is, is let's discuss what that means for the farm. What's that mean, son? We're going to get a Jacobs. <laughs> We're going to have to get a new ram. So you're supposed to, wait, I'm supposed to be you and you're supposed to be me. Oh, well then you, go ahead. What, what does this mean for the farm? <laughs> We have to get a new J Ram. It's, we're going to get a Jacobs. <laughs> You're terrible at that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So what does this really mean? I don't know. Just kind of winging it over here. I know. Um, well, what what are our options? Lose an entire lamb crop. Mm. Get pray, a new lamb. Pray he covered something in the first, what, four days he was with them? Three days? Yeah. Which they come into a silent heat, but I doubt it. Um, most don't cover any in that silent heat, do they? So, um, we'll know it soon enough. Okay. Come spring. Well, come spring, but why? Because what are we're talking about our options, right? And we've already made a decision. Now we need to tell them what we weighed out and what we did. Come on, you have to be me. Be, be, be smartical. You give up. I got this part right. You're tired. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so why is mom tired? I don't know. Mom slept all morning. What time did mom go to bed? What time did you get in from radio? 1.30. 2 mm -hmm. And she then. She slept till 11, 11.30. 11 5.30. I was up and had my coffee already going before I went back to bed at about 7.00. I was up because somebody, me as in Christy, not me as in RJ, <laughs> I thought the dogs weren't overeating, and they were, and now they've got diarrhea, and they poop in their kennel, and oh, it was horrible. So anyway, back to Burl. So my it was options, all your fault, and it really it wasn't was. mine for once. <laughs> it was my fault. Um, I don't know how I regulate their feet. I just throw <laughs> feed down, and they eat. <laughs> I have no idea how I... I was like, how much do you feed them? I don't know. I just throw some there. <laughs> yeah. So they've got diarrhea today and it's from overeating. But so they'll they'll be fine. Anyway. Very little now. Yeah. This morning I took it up so that they go 12 hours without it, and tonight I will feed them. I'll let RJ feed them because how much ever he puts down is obviously enough. So anyway, that happened. Um, hence why RJ got the computer ready and RJ is sitting in my seat. I'm not drinking your coffee. Yet. Oh, come on. It's good. Anyway, so let's. All right. The options for Burl were just wait and pray. Pray that he covered them, which is not very likely. Find another ram, right? Mm -hmm. Put Jake on the table. Or use one of the rams we have here and have crossbred Shetlands. Or what? Did I say find another ram? Okay, so there's three options. I mean, we thought it all through. Now I can't think of everything. 
but we went to the sale and a lot of times they'll have those Jacobs, correct? Mm -hmm. And he them. wants, yeah, he wants and always has wanted a four horn ram to run on our shotguns. Um, I don't know why. They're small in size. They're he just thinks the horns are cool, and so um, yeah, it's. So we went to the sale yesterday looking for anything that would suit us. And what did we find, son? Not silch. There's some hair sheep. That was it. Yep, there wasn't even calves like rat, little rats, huh? Nope. There was nothing. Nothing good. It wasn't even a very big sale, was it? Nope. So I think that's partly because of the bad weather, the rain, that kind of stuff. They can't see that. No good stuff. Dang it. I have a promotional pin, folks. Somebody sent it to us as Trying a promotion. Trying to get us to order them. But they're really expensive. Like $3 a pin. Yeah. But they're solid metal. Yeah. And it says RJ's Cuties on it. So I keep it. Mm -hmm. If I was to buy some, I would not be giving them all away as promotional things. No, they'd be like for winners, huh? Oh, yeah. Do you um, guys want to chip in on some? They're cool pins. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to get sponsorship. We need a sponsorship. No, but I don't even remember the web page. We'd have to find it. Anyway. We gotta have a right here, right here, right here. Pins.com. Their their <laughs> promotional pin has their website. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I should know if the real ones don't come like that. <laughs> they probably would. Um. Okay. Anyway. So we went to sell barn. Mm -hmm. Burl was sent to a new home as a wither, correct? Yeah. Uh, he, the reason we didn't keep him for fiber is he's not kid friendly. I can't put him out of my pasture. He was a knee getter. And there was a reason he was in the ram pen. He had beautiful horns, didn't he? Mm -hmm. But he's not friendly. So we couldn't just wither him and turn him loose with the others and make him a pet, could we? No. So he needed to go to somebody who was a little bit more, uh, less open to children. So that's what we did. Um, RJ wanted a Jacobs. We didn't find one. So we are going to look this entire year for a young Jacobs so that we can raise them our way. Um, and if that's what he wants, that's what he wants. That means that our fiber on the Shetland will be changing because it will no longer be just Shetland. The babies will be Shetland crosses. Now, we've had some accidents in the past, right? And they've all turned out really good because all of our rams have awesome fiber, don't they? Yep. I don't think we have one ram that doesn't have great fiber. Um, we've got some females that, a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so who's running with who and what? who do we separate off and all that stuff? We ended up taking... We have three of Ralphie's babies we sorted off, so we're not going to breed this year. We were going to breed them to Burl because they're Shetland and they're little. They have little babies. Mm -hmm. But since he got hurt, we sorted them off. They're not going to breed. And Burl is going to breed all uh, the... Burl's gone. And not Burl. Ralphie. Ralphie. The Gotland. Gotland's going to breed the Shetland and the Cuties. Yeah. So. Yep. And then come next year, we're going to need a new Ralphie. Yeah. Well, if we keep any of his girls. You already got three of them. Oh, that's right. Unless you want to bring them to the Jacobs, which is what I'm going to try and find. Yeah, good. Good. Okay. That'd be cool. The only reason I want to keep the three girls is they have amazing fiber. I'm keeping them for the fleets. And they have to throw a baby, you know. So, if he gets a Jacobs, maybe I'll keep him. But Ralphie, of all the rams that we move, Knight is the easiest, correct? Mm -hmm. And then... Ralphie. Ralphie. Ralphie is amazing. It's almost like he's halter broke, but he's not, is he? Nice. We've never halter broken, but he's sweet. He just, even when you turn him loose, he doesn't. Unless his previous owner had a halter on, which I don't think she I did. don't think she did. I don't know. When you turn him, make sure that that's plugged in. It is. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. It's starting to go to sleep. Okay. So. That's really all that's happened in the barn stall since breeding season going on. Bidet still hasn't gave us a kit. Oh, did you check the two sheep? Mm -hmm. Have they 
bagged or anything? No. Okay, so we have two sheep that we exposed to night. I have a mustache. You have a mustache. I mean, like, it's shaped. <laughs> um, you don't have to pretend you have a mustache anymore, dude. You're grown up. <laughs> you have a mustache. Okay, so um, anything else in the barn stalls? No. Okay, because we have two U's. I started to say this in the heat. Two U's that were exposed, but we won't know until the end of October if them and the day are going to do anything. October, the end of October is like the last time that mm -hmm. they'll give birth, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm supposed to be RJ. You're supposed to be serious. This is tough. Yeah, you got a booger. You can't see that, Ron. <laughs> there, guys, do I have a booger? Get your nose out of that camera. Okay. Oh, here, let me bring the camera to my house. No. Why not? Because. Hi, how are you? Look, Put mom it have back. Any boogers. I took a shower. I don't have any boogers. Do you want have boogers? I don't. Quit. Put the camera up. We got, we're going on a booger hunt. <sighs> you stop. Okay, I stopped. Good. At least I didn't stop the camera. That's true. I couldn't okay. just went click. Okay, so, um, mending fences. Been working on what? Stall. Okay, they don't know that. I know what you're talking about, but you got to explain it to them. I've been working on a stall, guys. And I stalled out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what stall? Oh, you know that one out there. Okay, well, first we had to do some shuffle. Oh, there was one other thing in the, um, barn stalls. What happened with the goats? They keep getting out. So we need to move them to a secure facility. Mm -hmm. And with the whole burl issue, we've ended up moving the pins again, correct? So the three unbred, or not to be bred, are up here in, by the house. And the goats are out in the cattle one. And then night and will stayed the same, and the meat sheep stayed the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so which stall are you working on? Night and wills. Yep. The sheep have head butted it. It's the ram pen, and they head butted it, and where all the bits in there? Well, the back of it is rotted and fell off. Yeah, but I mean, they wouldn't have, the sheep hadn't been yeah, against it. Could have deteriorated away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's old. What a hair. Folks, she has a hair. Did you <laughs> not notice? Did you not notice? <laughs> just in case. I was bald this morning. It just came out this way. I have a lot of hair. I need a haircut. Yeah. Okay, so. Hey, you want to give me one? You worked on the stall, right? Yeah, you the pigs. Haircut, they're okay. loving theirs. It rained last night, and they were in there, weren't they? Mm -hmm. and they love that thing. Uh, the only thing we need to do is get some hay in there because they're still gathering grass. Um, when I put the dogs out this morning, uh, little Charlotte was out gathering. Somebody hasn't put any hay in there, have you? I need to fill in the hole with the heat so the dogs can't splash when they want. Yeah, I, this is my second change because I actually got these things because I have to go someplace and yeah, came out of the shower, was all cleaned up, went out, got the dogs, and came back muddy from. About waist down, huh? Well, no, my shirt was muddy too, so. Shoulders down. Pretty much. So, anyway. Um, Alright, so that's in the barn store, in the yarn farm. Uh, I've been spinning on my walking wheel, and I've decided I'm going to do a small little get spinning series with each of my wheels. What? Really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with that's the walking wheels. We're just going to be close. Well, if you listen, I was thinking about it last night, and I tried to do the first part of the walking wheel um, last night, but it gets too dark up front. I don't have good lighting, so I'm going to have to do it during the day when our day's here to actually be my cameraman. Um, I'm just going to pretty much, it's going to identify parts you need to know, how to use them, issues that you may have, 
uh, how to spin on them. And I've, I'm still on a booger. What can I say? <laughs> Will you stop? Please. Okay. You're supposed to be me. So tell about this series. But anyway, it's going to be not technical, not talk about rotations per minute or warps. Quit getting off on a tangent and tell them what you're supposed to tell them. I am. I'm being you. But I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I only correct you when you're acting stupid. You correct me all the time. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, it's not going to get too technical, but you'll know the parts that you have to do, common problems with them, or ones that I've encountered. There will probably be more issues, but whatever. But one thing that I've always been told is I pretty much can spin uh, just about anything. I don't know why. I've just always done it. I can drop spindle and I can walking wheel. It didn't take me very long at all to learn the walking wheel, and now I'm so comfortable with it. I just shh. And all the videos that I saw on YouTube, everybody was doing it slow except for one and I, I don't know so and she's better than I am so she's probably been doing it longer than me. Um, you gotta remember I've only had my walking wheel what two years so I just yeah it's fun but I'm going to talk about lining it up the simple stuff just the easy stuff that you need to know not the technical stuff so um, anyway and then I'm going to do that for the three wheels that I have. I might do a small how-to video on drop spindling, but it's the way I teach is kind of childish on that end. But everybody can do it. I've taught a four-year-old to spin. Hey, come on now. Chrissy never goes to sleep. Not going to sleep. I'm just waiting for you to nearly finish. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, moving on. Now. You don't even know where we are. We are that was in, in the yard farm. farm on the porch. No. Yeah. In the field. Okay, in the field. What do we have left to do in the field? My gourds are still growing. Yep. Or your gourds are still growing. What else? What? If, I've got a garden going. I've got some herbs that I decided I'm not going to harvest this year. I'm just going to let them get strong because I kind of transplanted them out of season. Um, what do you have? What do you have standing in the field? We have a little bit of hay left. I, I love how this is wheat. Who's in charge of hay in season this year? This is a family operation. <laughs> this is October. We still have hay standing in the field. How you doing there? <laughs> Why do we still have hay standing? Because it keeps trying to rain. Mm -hmm. And we have to get some more wire. Yeah. The wire's not the problem. It's the rain. If we had a dry thing, we'd go get it. Don't get pepper all over my... Quit, you brat. He loves to spin that thing. Stop it. I just want to make a circle. Okay, look. I know. I want to make a circle. What? What? No. <sighs> you didn't even like pepper. Stop. You're just wasting. Just wait. See, guys. Look. This is what a crop circle looks like to an ant. <laughs> Oops. Wait. No. Wait. Wait. Where am I going? There we go. Oh. There we go. That's what a crop circle looks like to an ant. It's a pepper circle. Hey. <laughs> I was just being you. <laughs> uh, poor baby. <laughs> well, well, Bert and Carl eat pepper good. No, don't you dare. Don't be sneezing for God knows well, how drop it. He's right there. All you can do is drop it. Go I know. I just... <laughs> He normally sleeps by my feet, and RJ took my spot, so he's in there, and he doesn't know. Hang on, let's he's not. some of this little stuff down there. Yeah. No, let's not. I'm trying. I want to see him sneeze. <laughs> no, he's sleeping. This could be hilarious. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. I should, I should. You got mad when the ant sneezed. Okay, so back to in the hay fields, right? So, um, the hay itself. Oh, with the sleep. I'll let it go to sleep. The hay itself, at this point, doesn't have protein in it, but since we feed all winter what is the hay acting as uh roughage forage yep. forage so 
It'll be porridge, but no protein. And ours is prairie hay, and it only has what kind of protein? Four anyway? percent. Yeah, so that's why we feed. Look at this, folks. Look at this long old hair. There's my hair again. Um, all right, so that's in the fields. Now, in the farmhouse. Tell them about your rodeo while I go refill. Because RJ always goes for refills. We know. Look how long Mom's hair is, folks. It's this long. Yeah, I see him the Good golly. Look at this. That's not even one of the longest ones. Here, come over here and I'll pull one out. No. No, but you're in the farm now, dude. Tell what's going on in the farm. No. Um, I had a radio last night. Well, I went back up to the team roping. Yeah, I went to team roping last Sunday. I won it. Um, got me a nice little buckle. That I actually kept. Um, then. Where's that? Did you show it to him? No, I already put it up. Um, then uh, went to a radio last night. We can pop a picture and just leave a space. Save. All right, space. If I can find the picture, I'll pop it in right here. This is the big space where the picture will be. Hey, mom can find it. If mom can find it on her phone. If mom can find it on her phone. Okay. And then? Alright, okay. the space is over now, folks. That was a long space. Then I went to radio last night and I won the Kiff Rope and I didn't do any good in team rounds, but. And then. Let's see here. That's it. Next. On the porch. Did you do anything else this week? Of course. Okay, that's what you have to tell. Who have you been working for? Uh, His so, uncle. And Carl. And Carl. And Carl. Yep. So, right. it's enough to pay your entry fees, correct? Yep. So. I'm going to go ahead and boot your minute. Yep. He's using his winnings to buy his own. He's all grown up. In the farmhouse, our big thing is, RJ is all grown up and legal. His birthday was October 6th, which was yesterday, which was Saturday night. What did you do special? Did you run out and drink, boy? Nope. No. Where's the rodeo? Rodeo. Where's the rodeo? Well, that's not true. We started out, you and I went to the sale, right? Yeah, took Burl then there. Took Burl and, um. And come home. Sister had brought a cake over. We ate. And he got a gift. You did get a gift. Now tell him uh -huh. what the gift is. Because in the videos, it doesn't look like much. But I got a new telephone. You did. did not get a crack. It's just a cheap one, but he got a phone. Um, and then, yeah, you didn't tell about the drama with AT&T either. <laughs> oh, we'll just set that up. Um, anyway, but what, sh what shirts did we get? Because they're very expensive shirts, but um, my daughter is one of these that shop sales. And RJ saw the tags on them, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, her and I picked up the, our horseshoe says they really keep you warm. And if you know RJ, you know he does not like the cold in the winter. So... I was talking to him, and he uses Under Armour t-shirts, and he said that they really cut the wind, keep you warm. He says it's not your daddy's cotton t-shirt. And so she went online. When I went online, they were like 26 bucks a piece because I want long sleeve ones. She says, Mom, he can have short sleeve ones and just keep his arms. And I said, yeah, just went and find those cheaper. Well, the only place I found them was like... What was it? Eighteen or nineteen dollars a piece, twenty dollars a piece. And I was like, that's a lot for just a t-shirt. And so she says, let me do this. And I guess she's got Amazon Prime coupon codes, and I don't know. She's quite the little online shopper. And she came up with <coughs> Christy. Stop it. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Not that I'm, I'm talking. Yeah. Uh, she came up with a really good deal, and we got him three of the T-shirts with Amazon Prime, no shipping and handling, and we didn't pay a fraction of what was on those tags, did we? No. Nope. All right, yes. So. Is it a cup, or is it a vase? Let me know in the comments, please. This is an ongoing discussion Mom and I have been having. To me, it looks like a vase. Mm -hmm. They call and them a hurricane cup. Mm -hmm. And he That's says what it's called. I say it's a cauldron. I say it's a vase. It looks like a vase. It's called 
It's a vase. A hurricane glass. It's a vase. It's a hurricane glass. And folks, let me know what you think. Is this a hurricane glass? Or, or is it just a cup? I mean, a cup a is fine with me. I mean, you can just call me a cup. Or I'm with RJ. Vase. That's fine too. No. Do not encourage him. It's a vase. Alright, on the porch. Um. Anyway. On the porch. We finished. So you had your birthday. On the porch. Don't you need to say thank you to? Oh yes, thank you for all the folks that wish me happy birthday. Because there was a lot of them. We I we tried to keep up with all of them. Yeah, we tried to keep up with all of them on Facebook. I don't know that we did. I had like a hundred on my personal page, and I sat there and sent a couple of thank you. First thing says right foot thanks. <laughs> you copy and paste it, didn't you? No, uh, uh I just. There was a number of people that couldn't believe he was actually twenty-one. Yep. Because they all remember. Me my baby face. I look like I'm twelve. Until you shave, you don't look like you're twelve. If he shaves, he looks young, don't you? Get me a haircut, short haircut. I look like Curious George. <laughs> he does. <laughs> all right, on the porch. <coughs> it's raining okay. out. Not a whole lot going on. Sun's still up there. That's in the so that's good deal. On the porch is things that I'm working on. Yeah. Well, there's nothing um, on the porch then. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to get back to finishing my peg loom so that I can get that other rug woven. And hey, hey, Christy doesn't do that stuff to RJ. RJ does that stuff to Christy. Anyway, um, so. Well, at least make it so it can see. Oh, it's got a foot sticking out. Okay, it doesn't see with its foot. Anyway. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. <laughs> no, now you can't be seen as a camera. No. Okay. Oh, he's a special guest star. Yeah. Watch this. He's about to do an acrobatic flip. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't knock the camera. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I've been working. I caught on, it. That was awesome. I've been working on some fiber on Big Bertha, and doing some hot mitts, and pretty much just working on a small little Christmas present. I caught him. He's an so, acrobat. <coughs> <coughs> Our special guest here is an acrobat. I didn't drop my head in there. Yep. Right. He's an acrobat two thirds of the time. The rest of the time he ends up, well, now he's up to 50% of the time. Hang on. I've done it twice and he's fell uh -huh, twice. Uh huh, and he's fell twice. That's 50%, dude. I can get my percentages. There we go. <laughs> You're a dork. All right. Anyway, now we're just playing with that. Um, just really not doing a whole lot with the rain coming. I am going to get back to doing more projects. I've been thinking about little video series. Um, RJ, you have... I know what he is. You have He's put a diver. Up, you have put up a couple of little videos. One about the sheep and you have one coming up this week, right? Oh, yeah. Always. So, he started trying to put up... We're trying to do two a week, but we're not going to say that. So, um, here in a couple of weeks, what's coming up? I need to fill up. What's coming up in a couple of weeks? That Billy Walker. No. That do it again. No. That theme and jiggy. What you call it? I don't know what this is, folks, but it is not a good look. It's a dusting rag. Hmm. Wow, our computer's filthy. Okay, so. You can I know. Everywhere I've been and where I haven't. Yeah, but I don't dust it with that because now I'm going to have to vacuum all the little keys. Uh, well, oops, I just rubbed all the dust in for you. Yeah, I know. Now you're going to make it harder for me to clean it. Okay, so when we hit 208 updates, how many years has that been of updating everyone on YouTube? Too many. Four. How many years have you been blogging? Too many to count. You started when you were 13? Mm -hmm. Right? So. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Six. Eight. There we go. I went from one. <laughs> mm. Coming up on eight, and then it turns eight. 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 
He's 21, and he's been doing it since he was 13, so hey. Right? Yeah, goodbye, folks. All right. In suspense. We're off from here. Yeah, because we're just mothering. But we'll talk at you later. See you next week. Look for RJ's bye bye. little videos. If you do one, what day are you put a post in a month? Wednesday, right? Uh, yeah. Just okay. check the page periodically. Yeah. Are you posting all of your YouTube stuff on Facebook? Are you posting it all on the blog? No, I just can't post haphazardly. Oh, uh, you know what we forgot. Cat balloon. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Yep. So, she was older. Yep. Anyway, alright. Kind of out of order, but you guys probably got the gist. So. If you're watching this, you probably already know by the blog. So, alright. All right. Well, that's, we've wasted 30 minutes of your day. I don't know. Again, another 30 minutes and 45 seconds. Right. 49 seconds. 50 bye. seconds. Bye. Say bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. 54 seconds.